Hey, Warrior fans, welcome into today's show where I'm going to bring you an update on some weird Warriors news because, you know, just the other day I posted a video about Jeremy Lin and how he was going to be a member of the Golden State Warriors but really spent some time in the G League and now we're not so sure that's actually going to happen. So before I break down all the confusing mess that's going on with Jeremy Lin, I want to make sure that you have subscribed to YouTube.com slash Warriors TV because... Hey, the season is here. It is the week, the start of the NBA season. We're going to be doing game previews, game recaps, breaking down all the trade rumors and trade news that you'll ever need at youtube.com slash Warriors TV. So please subscribe today and turn on your notifications so that you can be the first to know when we post a brand new video about your Golden State Warriors. But now let's go ahead and break down this Jeremy Lin news and exactly what is going on. Because as of Friday, it looked like he was going to be signing a deal with the Warriors just to be waived and then later moved on to Santa Cruz where he would spend his season kind of rehabbing in the G League and proving that he could still play. Well, the Chinese Basketball Association didn't give Jeremy Lin the permission he needed to get out of his contract with the Beijing Ducks in time, which made him ineligible to play for the Golden State Warriors and be waived in time to spend time in the G League. It's a very confusing process, and I'm going to break it down a little bit more here in just a moment. But look, Lin hasn't played in the NBA since 2019 when he played for that Toronto Raptors team, which he did win an NBA championship there, but he barely even played. So really all he wanted to do was sign in the NBA, get some time back in the States, and be able to prove that he could play with the top talent in the world. Now, that's a little bit in question. So here's a better breakdown of exactly what happened and when it actually fell through from the San Francisco Chronicle. And I'm going to read it to you word for word so that I can try to explain it to you as best as it's been explained to me. The Warriors' plans to bring Jeremy Lin onto their G League team fell apart Saturday night when Golden State was unable to receive his letter of clearance from FIBA, which is, of course, the International Basketball Association, by the deadline. Lin, who played with the Chinese Basketball Association Be Beijing Ducks last season, had arranged to be signed and waived by the Warriors so that he could land with their G League affiliate in Santa Cruz. But when that wasn't possible, Golden State changed course, signing and waiving Elijah Pemberton so it could acquire his G League rights. Now, I'm going to tell you more about the new Warrior Elijah Pemberton here in just a minute, but before we get there, what's your one-word reaction to this whole Jeremy Lin mess? Because that, that's the best way to explain it, is it's just a mess. It's not the Warriors' fault by any means, but... The fact that the Chinese Basketball Association and FIBA couldn't figure this whole deal out in time, it's messy. That's my one-word reaction. Let me know what yours is in the comment section. Now, the newest warrior, Elijah Pemberton, is coming over from Hofstra. He went undrafted in 2020. He spent all four years of his college career at Hofstra, and I know a lot of people aren't really familiar with their game, but, hey, he actually was pretty darn good. Now, with Pemberton, the thing was is he was signed and waived, and so really the only thing that means is they brought him onto the team for less than 24 hours, probably less than even an hour, and then moved him on to Santa Cruz where he will spend the season in Santa Cruz, the G League affiliate, basically refining his game to get to NBA level. Now, he scored in double digits per game every single year since his freshman year. Came in right away, averaged 13 points, three boards, and two assists. Bumped that up to 16 points per game his sophomore year. Also shot about 40% from three that sophomore year. And then junior year, he took a little bit of a step back in every area except for his assists per game and the three-point shot, it wasn't as good. He was shooting lower than about 34% his junior year. And then senior year takes another step in the right direction at 17.6 points per game, nearly six boards. And then he was back on track with his 40% three-point shooting. So the kid can play. He's a six foot five wing. I doubt we'll ever see him in the NBA in the next couple years, but he's 24 years old. That gives him a few years to kind of prove in the G League that he can hang with the best of them. And maybe, just maybe, eventually he gets up into the NBA and plays a little bit with Golden State. Now, Hofstra is a college that not many people are familiar with. I'm going to be honest, I don't really know much about them. I just knew they were blue and gold. They have the same colors as the Warriors. But can you guess their mascot in the comment section? No cheating. Don't look it up. I want you to guess in the comments without looking it up. And then all the people that get it right, I'll respond with the correct answer as well and say, hey, you got it. But don't spoil it. Let me know what your guess is in the comment section. Now, before I talk a little bit more about Jeremy Lin and what's next for him and the Warriors relationship, I want to tell you about this deal at Fanatics going on for a limited time leading up to Christmas. Chatsports.com slash dubs deal. Check that link out in the description in the comments or open up your tabs right now and type it into your browser because this deal is going to get you up to 65% off all Warriors gear, whether it's jerseys, 
hats, hoodies, sweatshirts, or shorts. Anything you want is available for up to 65% off for a limited time at this link you see below me, chatsports.com slash dubsdeal. I know you got some more Christmas shopping to do. Trust me, I'm not even done with my Christmas shopping. And when you get it done at Fanatics, you can do it at the best price possible. Chatsports.com slash dubsdeal. Go get the Warrior fan in your life some new Warriors gear. Now let's talk more about Jeremy Lin and talk about how, in all honesty, there's a chance he's still a member of the Warriors before the season even begins. Because the deadline for Jeremy Lin to be signed and waived in time is Monday night at 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So if that happens, if Jeremy Lin can find a way to get clearance from FIBA, clearance from the Beijing Ducks slash the Chinese Basketball Association, and then sign a deal with the Golden State Warriors that would make him basically an Exhibit 10 contract, then he should be okay to spend his year in the G League. Because ultimately, look, Jeremy Lin has had a lot of success in Beijing. He's averaging 22 points per game over there. But his ultimate goal is to return to the NBA and get some playing time in the best league in the world. The problem is, Jeremy Lin hasn't really played at an elite level in a long time. The last time we saw him healthy was in 2019 with the Toronto Raptors. And in that time, he wasn't putting up 12 points per game and 3 assists. He was only playing about 5 minutes a game and barely played in the NBA playoffs. The year before that, in 2017-2018, he was having a great year. 14.5 points per game, 5 assists, but he was coming off an injury, so we only saw him for 36 games. And then that 2016-2017 season, he played in one single game, the home opener for the Brooklyn Nets. He looked like a stud. Like, I thought he was back in Linsanity mode. But at the very end of that game, he had a gruesome injury in which he tore his patellar tendon. That kept him out. But in that one game, he looked good, 18 points. And then obviously the year before that, he was spending some time in Houston. He had been bouncing around between L.A., Houston, New York, Brooklyn, Charlotte, Atlanta. He's been everywhere. And that year prior, he didn't look that strong. Now, a little bit more of an explanation here from Bobby Marks, who is basically the ESPN cap expert. He's uh, tweeting this out word for word to kind of give you a better idea of how the Warriors could still end up with Jeremy Lin. Here's some clarification on the Jeremy Lin situation. The regular season rosters don't have to be set until December 21st at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, as I mentioned. Golden State could still sign Lin on Monday if they receive FIBA clearance, but it would take on a two-day financial penalty. I know that sounds scary, but it's really not that scary for the Golden State team, and here's how he clarifies. Because it takes a player over 48, or excuse me, 48 hours to clear waivers, signing Lynn on Monday would cost Golden State a total of $216,000 in salary and luxury tax. Signing an Exhibit 10 deal only guarantees Lynn a spot on their G League team. He is free to sign with any of the 30 NBA teams if he plays well. So if Lynn does end up signing that Exhibit 10 deal, he gets waived before Monday night and then goes and signs with Golden State Warriors' G League team, that doesn't mean he's a warrior for sure. Let's say he goes to the G League and he's putting up 30 points a game, somebody's going to call him up and give him a full-time NBA contract. So it's not a done deal that Jeremy Lynn's going to end up on the Golden State Warriors, but it's also not a done deal that he's staying in Beijing. So let me know in the comments section as we end today's video. Do you still want Jeremy Lin on the Warriors team or at least on their G League team? Type Y for yes, type your in for no. And honestly, as an NBA fan, I'm typing my Y for yes because I think everybody wants to see Jeremy Lin get another chance in the NBA.